Hi everyone, this is going to be a demo of how I do the 2D animations and also incorporate the 360 uh, photo with it in a video type. Okay, so the tools I use for the character are Midjourney AI to generate the characters, Adobe Photoshop that's prepared the character for rigging, and then Adobe Character Animate to rig the character. All right, and then for the scenes or setting, I use Blockade Labs that generates that 360 photo it's an ai and then finally i put everything together in adobe after effects and render it okay so we'll start with mid journey okay so these are some of the prompts that i use you when you're looking at the prompts you want one where the arms and the legs are a bit away from the body so that nothing is attached for the rigging here I will run uh, one example for you. Okay, so let me run this one and we'll make it an action character. But so you see here, I use things like full body character design or bind pose for 3D animation rigging and then also arms outstretched, standing with feet apart. Okay, so if we come back here, I'll give an example of that. So it's the forward slash imagine, and then you just enter the prompt. Uh, I said I wanted to do an action. Okay, let's do action hero. Okay, so I'll go off and you'll see. So this is a good pose. Okay. So again, having the arms away from the body. So for example, if we had decided to take this one, this one's not bad. Characters lean in a little bit, but we could upscale that one. So upscale number four. And once you upscale it, save it. Okay, so these are some of the images that I selected from Mid Journey as possible characters for the 2D animation. All right, so I've decided to go with this character over here. Um, so let's go to Photoshop. So what I do when I get into Photoshop, I unlock the layer here. Okay, and then I change the image size. So I go image size and I like to increase the resolution. I just do this because I notice that when I don't, it appears very tiny in character animate. Okay, so I'm going to say okay to that. Okay, so now we want to remove the background. Okay, so let me zoom so you can see more of the picture. I press Alt on my keyboard and then it's just a center mouse scroll. And then to pan, it's a space bar. And I left click and then drag it around. All right, so here to remove the background, you're going to see quick actions here. All right, so if I click that, it's over here, remove background. So I'm going to select, remove it. All right, so the background has been removed. All right, so now what I want to show you, if um, you don't see enough of your character removed, what you need to do is you would go to select and you go select and mask. You can also erase it, so, but I'll just show you because sometimes the computer can do it for you. All right, so that was select a mask. Okay, so if you look up here, you see a plus sign and a negative sign. So if you want to remove something, you use the negative sign. So let's just say you want to remove this part here. So it's got some something going on with the hands there. I'm going to increase the size. Okay, and just increase the size. That's the size of the uh, mouse part there. Okay, so I click that and you see it has disappeared. Let me zoom in so you can see that. So you see it's becoming transparent as well. So you click again, just click until that has gone. You have to select OK to apply the changes. There, you see it's disappeared. This side here. I will erase. Okay. So the eraser is here. 
if you hover you'll usually see some information so there it is that's the erase okay so i should probably reduce the size <laughs> okay let me reduce the size it's a bit big and the size selection is up here and then i just move down okay I see you remove this part here. Okay, so now we're in character animate animator. Okay, so you'll need the pro version that we can tell what version you're using is up here. You'll have a starter or a pro. So I'm going to stay in pro because that's what we need. And the cool thing about this um, is actually you can also do motion, facial and motion tracking with this so that you can animate your characters that way. That's not the method we're going to use. So that's not going to be shown in this demo. So what you do to start, you go to new project and it will come up with a window where you can actually select where to save your project. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so when we click the new project, it will give you a location to save your folder, your project. I've already saved it and it's going to be this one here. So I will cancel this and we will get straight into it. So it's now appeared up here in my recent projects. I will click that. Okay, so now we want to import the character in here. So it's file and then import. And then you should select the Photoshop file. So it's a, I already have it in there. So I'm going to cancel and we'll come back here. And you see it says here 2D animation female action hero. So I will double click this. okay and there is our character all right so now let's i typically move their origin to somewhere ish in the center of the body okay so what you want to see when you do this this yellow outline you don't want them to have any awkward attachments to the body so here this will will keep it like this like the chest is a bit attached to the arms but that's okay because of the pose all right so now what we want to do here is we want to do the rigging. So you'll see at the left side here, this little figure has all these points. So what I do now is I put here, you go to the handle tool, you click that, and then you match up these spots. Okay, so I'm going to click one there. Okay, and then you match it on that. Okay, so then let's do the wrist. Okay, so I typically don't put the ankle in, I do the heel. Okay, so now we've put those handles in, now we need some bones. Okay, so typically this would have like a lot of layers. Um, if you want to actually know more in detail, there are quite a few great Adobe um, tutorials. This one, I, I'm doing like a shortcut from because I'm trying to bring in from mid journey. So this here at the bottom, it's going to be the stick tool and that's going to be where we don't want the character to bend. All right, so I will zoom in just a bit more. So from here, okay. 
there we go so from there to there So to do the zoom, I do the same as in Photoshop. Um, I do the alt and I do a center mouse scroll and pan is also space bar. Okay, so now I also want um, the foot not to be bending. So we'll put bones there too. Being very slow okay all right so now what we're going to do is we are going to add a scene so we click this make sure it's selected here and this board here kind of like uh you know the cinema boards you click that to create a scene okay so just another thing to note So all this is linked to the Photoshop. So if I make any change in the Photoshop, it will actually be reflected here. So if you go here, 2D, so that's what this PS is. Um, I believe it also works with Illustrator if you do your puppets in Illustrator instead. Uh, I forget what it would be. It's probably like something with an I. Maybe AI. Okay, so let me double click click again on the scene all right so the scene this here on the right just clicking it once left click once shows you the size and information your frame rate duration the width height okay so now i am going to double click on the scene because i want more controls here so that's a double left click all right so here you can see puppet track behaviors we're going to go back to the puppet because i want to add some behaviors here so click again on the puppet just one click and here you'll see behaviors there's a plus sign so i do add and you want to add body next one add another one and you want to add limb ik and then again now you want motion library okay so see what happened to the foot there let's go to limb ik All right limb ik and i'm going to say i only want it for the arms you can play around with it depending on what your character is looking like sometimes i do it arms and legs most often though i just do it on the arm now let's go back and go to motion library so motion here right now it says not if i click here you see idle there's walk there's run dance my favorite as usual yes fight jump sports and gesture so uh let's just go through some let's try angry see all right now the character is moving and being animated but you can see there's some distortions happening with the body so you can play around with this depending on what your character is like so i go to orientation here you see now it has a little hand with some arrows and i try and change the directions okay so you see i moved it right and i just see how the body reacts so that is actually slightly better in the stance. Okay, what would happen if I moved it more left? It gets more distorted. All right, so we'll pick that. Okay, so I'm not going to play with it too much because then it will take long. So we'll just get some general uh, animations. Okay, so another thing you can do here is the strength. So this is 100% strength if you reduce it. The reaction is less 
so you can hardly tell if she's doing anything. Okay, so let me put it back. That wasn't back, sorry, exactly. It, oh, if you want to remove these, these axes, you just click them away. So anything you did will be removed. And then click that. You see, slow, but it's going back. All right, but in this case, we, were, we did want it to go higher. So let's move this back up. Okay, we'll keep it like this. The next thing I want to show you. All right, so you have some options here. You can either make it continuous or you can or you can do like a treadmill. Okay, so maybe let's go to a walk so that you can see that. Let's do let's just do a let's do a strut walk. Okay, so there you go. She's strutting. So the treadmill keeps her in the same place. Reset our loop. If she was moving, then it would go back. It was continuous. She just keeps going. Okay, so let's do treadmill and I'm going to reposition her. I do that by refreshing the scene. So now, what about if you want to record? So click, click on the scene. Just want to refresh this. So here at the bottom, you have here, you can do a record. But first, I guess, let's fix her a little uh, position a little bit. Okay. And then maybe let's not have that much strength to that walk. Okay. Sorry, like first of all, okay. So right now she's doing a treadmill. Let's do reset a loop. And you record one motion. All right, so the record showed up here. Okay, so let's try and give her another action. Let's do walk one. Okay, let's put her on a treadmill. Okay, and then let's record again. So I'm gonna move this part here, this is where it gets set. Again, I'm going to record one motion. Okay. So now, okay, so you can see there's some fight actions. So here we do need to fix that orientation. Let's put it back at zero. Okay, so they okay so that one is not okay it looks like she's facing the other way so now when that happens you can actually have an option to mirror it okay so mirror that there you go okay so that was a jab okay let's see if uh, maybe hook Okay, let's record that one too. Okay. So here, if I hold left click and then I can drag. So I'm gonna drag it to this point. Uh, let's move it more to the end. You should see the changes there.